Hey guys, I thought I'd do a little video. I apologize it's going to be kind of shaky because I'm kind of freehanding it today. But I was drilling those oil drain back holes on my 4.8 LS pistons. Um, those pit those holes are going to be on the skirt side, not the openings for the pins. But I wanted you guys to just kind of see how I was doing it with uh, basically you have to find a drill bit that'll fit in that three millimeter oil receiver hole, uh, ring land. And then I basically drilled one hole directly centered or as best I could when I first started out. I was not quite 100% dead center, but center of that skirt ring land. And then I split the difference. I don't know if you guys can see the little black Sharpie dots right below that oil control ring land. I've got a Sharpie dot that splits the difference between the hole that's in the center of my ring land. I've added that hole in the center of the oil control ring land. Then I have visually split the difference between the factory drain backs and my hole I've added. I've done, I'll basically add in three holes to each side of that oil drain back or as oil drain backs in that oil control ring land. Um, I'm actually on my last piston. I have the other seven of them over here that have already been drilled. I'm gonna have to blow out as much of this aluminum dust because a lot of the shavings stays up top by the drill bit, but you still end up with real tiny shavings. So I'm gonna get those blown out of the pistons and. Naturally, I need to wash them again anyway because I've been trying to clean out all that burnt oil in those 1.5 millimeter ring, you know, compression ring grooves. So, anyway, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update of where I was at. Um, if you'll look in the bottom of this bucket, I just use, so if you'll see in the bottom, you'll see a little sections. There's actually two side by side. A, a used factory piston rings that snapped off when I was trying to remove them from the pistons. I just use a broken factory ring to, as a scraper tool to uh, clean out those ring lands on these pistons because even though these pistons have been soaked several times and uh, washed, we even hit it with a prep with we even hit these pistons with a pressure washer trying to dig that stuff out of those ring lands we just absolutely could not get it to clean up so i just have to manually scrape them and then probably spray them out with some brake clean and then of course always 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 keep lubricant oil lubr uh, wd-40 something on your piston pins and your bearing surfaces because believe it or not these things will rust up really fast and that's not to say that once you assemble the engine and fire it up, it won't self-clean itself. I would not take that chance of, you know, messing up a piston pin or something weird. So, anyway, that's where I'm at as far as adding these oil drain back holes. Uh, I came up here to the uh, body shop to use the ancient old Guardian Power drill press because I didn't trust myself to uh, drill all these holes by hand. I think I could have done it by hand because trying to modify this press uh, vise to hold this piston the way I want it has been a challenge to say the least. Um, I've ended up just doing away with part of the jig we produced and just went with trying to rotate the piston to get the apex of the, uh, you know, because the piston's round. I've been trying to get the apex of the piston up straight up to the uh, drill bit so that when I come down with the drill press, the hole is as square as I can visually get it without measuring each and every hole, which would take forever. So basically I rotate the piston, get the apex of where I want to drill up, lock it in the vise, then use my, what is that, XY axis controls to center my drill bit in the ring land. Uh, get it pulled fore and aft where I can get my spot I want and then I drill the hole uh, Word of advice when you come down to drill the hole 
slowly let the drill bit bite into the aluminum before you start trying to add any real pressure on it. I mean, I'm not pulling hard enough, but I know I snapped a drill bit earlier because I got a little ahead of myself. So just a friendly word of advice, let that drill bit bite in and start its uh, guide hole before you add too much pressure to it. So anyway, that's where we're at. I'm almost done adding these old rain back holes. Hopefully that'll help help me avoid any oil consumption issues. Thanks for watching. Come on back and we'll try to get some more done.